comedian Eric Komondi locks himself up on a clear cube outside parliament buildings as he lobbies 75% local content airplay plus. DJ Shiti responds after his ex-lover says he has been cheating on her with a transgender woman and cartoon the comedian calls for sanity as it is allegedly reported that she will be releasing a new song and finally Bahati discloses his gifts to Dan for their Valentine's Day. To access these and more updates make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. I'm Kingsley Luboko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News Roundup. Fans have reacted differently on how Eric locks himself up in a cage-like structure outside parliament buildings in his bid to champion a move. Both fans and other celebrities have reacted to this move, with populars like Bian from the boy band Saudi Soul saying a thug in a glass cage surrounded by thugs to imply that even the members of parliament are robbing off entertainers' rights. The reason for Eric locking himself inside the transparent cube outside parliament buildings is in an effort to lobby members of parliament to support the 75% airplay of, of local content on Kenya media. Six heavily built men in black suits, apparently his bodyguards, are surrounding the cube. Eric Omondi's fight will take a very long time to come to fruition because the copyright amendment bill 2021 does not support that airplay provision under it. President Ru Kenyatta made a declaration for 60% and nothing was followed up or any progress made into pushing it into law. The survival mode and antics of Eric Omondi are yet to be known as days go by, so we will keep you posted as this unfolds in our subsequent entertainment news bulletins. percent Kenyan music na umealika ume wasani wote maybe musicians from Kenya In this month of love comedians and actors are now being slammed for not stepping up to their roles for being better lovers and caregivers to their offsprings Comedian and actor DJ Shiti now gets hooked into a loop of her loud baby mama who has exposed him out openly. Through her social media account, DJ Shiti ex-lover called Hussein says that at the moment they are not living together. In a statement she notes and says, and I open quote, we don't live together. The dude has no interest in the daughter. Where he is from, sons are a pride. End of quote. The baby mama Hussein was responding to a curious fan who asked about the relationship with DJ Shiti. She as a Muslim and as seen, she took offense on the question, saying, I open quote, Muslims also make mistakes. I wasn't married. We did an introduction. No nick. End of quote. The mother of two added, saying, My mistake, I wish I could go back, but in your Ishakua. Hussein explained why they parted ways, saying some of the issues she has held back on, but said too much cheating, as DJ Shiti is allegedly to have brought other women to their home. On his part, DJ Shiti has responded to these claims in defense, now saying, It's only Almighty God who can put me down. He uplifted me from the days I was napping in the cold streets of Nairobi, homeless. I only had hope. My sister of the night, Akisha, Mumbi, Nasibo, Fatma, Najom Taonahi, R.I.P. Kendi, you offered me a place at Tasia, he wrote in a statement on his social media. Fash Hussein has accused DJ Shiti to be sleeping with a transgender woman known as Brandy on social media in an Q&A session with Edgar Barry on his Instagram account. Fash claimed that DJ Shiti dropped the ball of taking care of their kids to supporting Brandy. Brandy has spoken saying some of these celebrities are not as they are perceived. We will keep you up to speed with these details. Still on relationship on this month of love, before the Valentine's Day, singer and songwriter Bahati 
has now asked for suggestions as he wishes to gift Diana B5 Valentine's gifts through his social media. Bahati writes on post saying, I open quote, I want to gift my wife five gifts as we celebrate five Valentines we have been together. End of quote. Bahati on other posts he writes and I quote, I want to make this Valentine's the best Diana B will ever have. On Diana's B part, she has posted a photo on a silver and black theme, captioning when you see me glowing, I'm loved right in this Valentine season. I just want to appreciate my king for loving me right always. She has further advanced to ask her fans what kind of gift she'll be gifted as I end this quote. Diana B and Bahati have in a long season solidified their relationship with vows to immense support they have granted each other. The latest being at Mili Chebi's 35th birthday party where Bahati openly advanced to ask for another baby at the Karibu Inn Bridge in Kembu County. They fathered to express their love in the party that was themed cowboy with most guests being in a relationship as documented by Mili Chebi's YouTube channel. On the comment section, fans have asked Bahati to surprise Diana B with gifts that include houses, cars, Cloth lines and a new baby as much expected. We will keep you updated on this news as Valentine's approaches. Yo, I'm seated with the queen. What up, what up, baby? Diana B on this. You're good. <laughs> I'm super. How are you? You're good. Tonight we're announcing something special, but in the meantime, on 13th of February, the Valentine's Eve, where will we be at? Lastly, Katoon is continually hitting back at hiatus, insisting nothing is going to stop her from doing all that she does to remain happy. On her Instagram account, Vanessa Kingi, a comedian and online sensation, is hitting back to those people who she says will be cool to her from her success. In a written text in her social media accounts, she writes and I quote, why should I chase Cloud? Yet I have diehard supportive fans. So now is a risk could you miss her just for Cloud? Keep your ears from the airwaves. Katun has in the recent days been gushing insults and sentiments warning those who have allegedly hurt her through goons as she calls them to attack her full swing if they mean business. These are listed to a section of her fans claiming she's hitting at Diana Mara and her career. Through Diana Mara's side, we have not met any comments on this news. However, thoughts have reached our news desk that a brief of rooming song from the comedian, the young artist born and raised in Kayole, is expected to release a first song coming soon. What are your thoughts on this tactic that Katun is employing to foster a move when she will be releasing a song? To access these and more updates, make sure you log on to www.evemungai.com for the latest. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. My name is Kingsley Lwoko for Mungai Eve Entertainment News.